Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to our training today. Yes, as we promised, we said our training is going to kick off today, which is um, today is Sunday, the uh, 4th of September 2022. Yes, um, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to our new members, to our new members. Uh, we also want to appreciate our old members who have been with us all this while. Um, we also appreciate those who have been using HR more to purchase their goods. Thank you to every one of you. Yes, so um, to our new members who have not been with us for this while, we are going to be starting this training from scratch so that you all will understand um, where we're coming from. Yes, and our discussion today is basically uh, we're going to start from mini importation and um, how HMO, how you can use HMO to purchase your goods from China. Um, we're also going to go into details about uh, buying goods or sourcing your goods from 1688.com because that is um, the e-commerce platform where we are going to be sourcing all our goods from. So I believe that we all know what mini importation is all about. Yes. Um, it is basically um, the is simply uh, an advanced um, form of uh, small-scale business that allows you to buy or import goods from overseas directly from manufacturers um, at ease and at an affordable price. Now, most mini importers, most mini importers, especially in Nigeria and in Ghana, they all source their goods from China. Yes because China has uh, a lot of e-commerce platforms like the AliExpress and the Alibaba and the popular 1688 uh, Taobao uh, e-commerce platform. So, but um, today we are going to be focusing on uh, 1688 and Taobao.com. Yes, and why are we focusing on them? I'm going to break it down for you. Now, one thing that is making people find it very difficult to import from China is because one, it's not easy to get the direct suppliers or good suppliers or legitimate suppliers. Two, it's not always easy to pay your supplier. And the third is also uh, to ship your goods to Nigeria and uh, receive it. So that's one thing that has always discouraged people from going into that. And those who have this um, secret usually hide it away from the pe from people. They don't want to share the secret to people or the secret of their, their success in importation to people. But we are here to give you or tell you all the secret, everything you need to know to start importing from China, okay? So I want you to pay very, I want you to be very attentive, to pay attention to every detail we are going to give you here. Hmm? So right now, Buying from China has been made very easy using HMO. HMO is a procurement agent that helps you to procure your goods from China. Okay? Hassle free. Now, it is based in China and um, they've been operating for a very long time. But one good news about HMO is that HMO has decided to design an app which will make uh, people to easily access their services. Okay? And the app is just like our normal our local jumia.com or conga.com or gg where you easily go and purchase your goods now unlike 1688.com that appears in um, in chinese language um okay let me open the platform so that you guys will see what i'm talking about okay um i'm trying to open 1688.com right now so you guys will understand um what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the 1688 app, 1688.com website. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, this is 1688.com website. Um, everything here is written in Chinese language. And one good thing about the site is that goods are, every item you find here is, they are ridiculously cheap to compare to AliExpress. We all know AliExpress, right? Um, uh, let's 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 uh, try AliExpress. Let's open AliExpress. Okay. I believe we all know AliExpress. 
Unlike AliExpress, 1688, everything there is very, very cheap. Hmm? But the only problem is that 1688 is written in Chinese language. Everything there is in Chinese language. Um, but AliExpress, you can get everything uh, in English. But AliExpress is basically for uh, retailers, not for wholesalers. You see that? It's basically for retailers. Hmm? But 1688, um, 1688.com can, you know, sell to wholesalers. You, when you go to the platform, you find a lot of suppliers, manufacturers of different kind of products. You see that? And prices are very cheap. But the problem is that they do not sell to people outside China. They can't sell to people outside China, except if you have an Alipay account. And to open an Alipay account is not easy. And to also get them to ship your goods to Nigeria is also not that easy. Okay? So these are some of the stumbling blocks people usually face. Okay? Now, that is where HMO now comes in. What HMO does for you is if you're able to you know, get the goods you want to procure, they can help you to procure it. Now, when you go to the HMO app, everything in the app, you can find the HMO app on Google Play Store. And when you download and install, this is how it looks like. This is how the app looks like. It's very easy to navigate. And everything in the app here is written in English language and the currency is in Naira. Unlike the 1688 that I just showed you, everything here is in Chinese language, except you have to go to the browser and try to translate it to English before you'll be able to understand everything that is written here. Now, um, for, this, for the HMO app, to download it is very easy. Like I said, you go to uh, uh, Google Play Store and download the app and install it on your phone. And everything here, every single thing you find in this HMO app is directly linked to uh, 1688.com. So if you if you take a look at this uh, search bar, let's look at this search bar. As you can see, look at this search bar here. You see what is written here? Hmm? Enter 1688 to tabular link for search. To search okay that means whatever you want to search for in here whatever whatever all these items you you find here is directly linked to 1688 or taoboa.com okay so everything here everything is linked to 1688 or taoboa.com so if you open okay let's assume that i want to open uh this particular earboard Okay, I have to sign in, right? If I'm fine, we're well, still going to go into that. If you open anything here, you see the website or the e-commerce platform where it is being pulled from. Okay. Now, what I usually tell people is that, like I said, what I usually tell people is, for you to for you to be successful in mini importation, you need to be very good at sourcing goods from 16a.com. So that's where we're going to start from because purchasing the goods now is no more our problem. Our problem now is how best to source our goods. What is the best way we are going to source our goods so that we will not make mistakes because HMO is not responsible for sourcing your goods for you. All they do is you know, procure the goods that you've, you've searched for, you've sourced for on your own. Then you copy the link and paste on their app to purchase, okay? They are not responsible for sourcing the goods, so you have to be very, very careful on how to source your goods. Now, like we said, the website that we are, going, that we are using to source our goods is 688, and many people are not really finding it easy to navigate this particular website. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you that today, so that you can know how to use 1688.com. Okay, okay, right now. For us to start up this training, for, for me to start showing you how to use this, there are so many apps you have to download. Several apps, like we're, we're, go, we're just going to download about two of them. Now you need to download the um, the Microsoft Swift Key app. This is it. You go to uh, Play Store and you go to Google Play Store. You type um, Microsoft Swift Key. Yeah? This, uh, this is how it looks like. This is how the icon looks like. Okay, this is Microsoft Swift key. Now you also download the High Translate. You also download High Translate. You will download High Translate. High Translate. Okay, this is it. We are going to download it right now. 
Okay, install. Download High Translate. Very important because with High Translate we are going to use high, we are going to use it to translate the uh, 688 app. Okay, because with uh, the browser you can easily translate the whole page, but with the app you can't translate the whole page. You need to translate text by text and understand what is written there. Okay, so now uh, okay we are waiting for this to download here. We are waiting for the high translate to download. So while we wait for the high translate to download, I'm going to be showing you how to download the 1688 app. Okay, because you need the app on your phone. You're not just going to be navigating the, the, the website through the browser, through your Google Chrome browser. You also need to navigate using the app so that you can easily chat with your suppliers. You find it very easy to chat with your suppliers with the 688 app than the browser. You can also do that with the browser, but I kind of prefer the app, okay? So, to download the 688 app, you come here, okay? Come here to this top side, okay? Come here, okay? Then uh, you click that button here. You click it. Then click it's going to take you to a page where you need to download the app, okay? Now, it will take you to this page right here, okay? Now, you're going to click this place here. You're going to click here, here. So, when you click here, okay, it is going to now launch the, um, it's going to now launch the dialog box where you download the APK the file of uh, CC88 app. Because you can't find this app on Google Play Store, okay? This is the only way you can download it. Now I have downloaded it. After downloading, the file is going to look like this. Okay. Then you double click and install and grant all the necessary permissions that it needs. Okay. Now, uh, after you've installed, this is how the app will look like on your phone. Okay. Now this is the 1688 app here. You see, you open the app on your phone. Now when you open the app, you see it, everything now is showing in Chinese language. Every single thing here showing in Chinese language. Okay. Now, another thing you need to do as you from um, as you from um, as you've been able as you've uh, installed the app to your phone is to register and become a member so that you can find it easy to source for goods here on 1688. Okay. So to register, you come down here. Come down here. Okay, come down here and click, click this portion. When you click this portion, you also click here, okay? When you click here, it's going to take you to the box where you register as a new user. But before we come to that, let's go back to our high translate because this is where we're going to use the high translate, okay? It has installed, so the high translate here, you open. We open the high translate, we go ahead and set up, grant all the necessary permissions. Okay, we're going to grant permission to our high translate. Okay, this is it. Okay. Acceptance and condition. Okay. Uh, 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 we'll go to the accessibility option. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So you grant all the necessary permissions. You come to the accessibility option, which uh, when you get to the accessibility option, you go to the um, accessibility button. You go to high translate. Uh, you allow. Okay. So uh, every phone have their own um, um, advanced settings that you need to allow. So just follow the the guide from your own phone. Okay. So oh, it's saying permission not granted. So I'm still going to go back to my accessibility option to grant uh, more permission. So um, you grant permission. Uh, 
permission granted allow okay um okay got it so now we are done setting up okay so um okay now one last thing we are going to do is to set up the language so we are going to set up to translate english okay translate uh, english to um chinese language okay let's change this we're going to enter chinese language here uh where is it where is it where is it, where is it? Um, hold on guys okay um, let's select china oops oops chinese language then here is um english language okay now we have we have um we have set up our language chinese and english okay so um now you're going to hit this button here this button here okay so after granting the permission you hit this button here once you hit this button here this icon is going to appear this icon here is going to appear so i will show you how to use this okay so now let's go back to our 1688 app okay so this is the 1688 app so now for you to understand what is written here it's true that i already know what is written here but for new users you don't know what is written okay so for you to understand what is written here you just uh click on this icon and drag just drag it and place it on top of this and it's going to translate what is written here okay can you guys see it so he's saying quick registration saying quick registration what is this one saying it's saying uh, retrieve password and what's this one saying saying login okay so we are going to go to quick registration now you click on quick registration okay we don't know what is written here so we'll drag this uh, translation button take it down here so it's saying personal account registration out of this one saying enterprise account registration for this one you say cancel so we are going to personal account registration now when you get to personal account registration okay now when you come to this stage you click and enter your country code okay which is um nigeria enter your country code this is it so for you to see this country code you drag drag this and bring it here you're going to translate nigeria okay so you just click nigeria and enter your personal phone number here okay so um Enter your personal phone number. Let's say you get zero nine zero five nine zero three three zero three. Okay. Now after that, you're going to click on. Okay. Let's see what this one is saying. Um, okay. Okay. You're going to click here. Here actually means get code. Okay. That's what this stuff means here, this uh, word. What it means here, it says get code. Okay, so if you click here, uh, you go ahead and click this portion. Now you're going to hold on a bit and the text message will be sent to this particular phone number. Okay, the phone number you're trying to use to register. The code will be sent to you, okay? And I've gotten the code right now. So I'm going to enter the code here, okay? I'm going to enter the code, um, which is uh, 528115. Okay, then I'll enter my password. Um, um, I'll enter any password that I want. Okay, let's let me use uh, um, hello world. Hello, hello world. Okay. Hello world. Okay. Now I click this place to 
to set up my account. Okay, what is this saying? Okay, hello world. Now, uh, I've actually used I've actually used this phone number before, so is uh, I'm just showing you, I'm just using it to to show you how to log in. So this is how you're going to log in. After getting the code, you put your password, then you click on register. Okay, you click on agree, then go ahead to to register, and it's going to take you to the next stage where your account will be fully registered. Okay, now. Um, so once you once you're done registering, it's going to take you to this uh, this stage where you see your um, your user ID. So with this user ID here, you can use it to log in both in the browser and also in the app anytime, even um, in your uh, laptop, in the computer. You can use this user login to access your account anywhere. So uh, we're now in the 1688 app. Okay, so next step is to for you to see how you are you can be able to you know easily source for goods. Okay, so uh, you can come here and type anything you want in English. Okay, let's say I want to search for um, uh, smartwatch. Smartwatch. Okay. Um, smartwatch. First, I want to search for smartwatch. Yeah, I just type in smartwatch and it brings out every information about smartwatch. Every single information about smartwatch. Okay. okay let's say I want to type, I want to search for um, uh, the female pants, female pants, or female slippers. You just come here and type female slippers and it's going to blow, bring out every information about female slippers. Okay. Now, uh, this is where you find the price, this area, this is where you find the price in yuan, Chinese yuan. This is where you find the price in Chinese yuan and everything. So let's open this particular uh, supplier's profile. Okay. So uh, this particular supplier's profile. You see? So in this profile, the supplier is saying here that from... Um, okay, for you to... Read what the supplier is trying to say here. You simply drag this translation icon, place it on top of anything you want to translate, and it is going to translate for you. Say two pairs from badge. Okay, so it means this supplier is going to sell this item at 23 yen if you're buying two pairs. So at 22.28 yen if you're buying from 40 pairs and above, at 20.70 yen if you're buying from 5,000 pairs. That's why I said this platform is mainly for wholesalers. Okay. Now, uh, the next step is to check the attributes of this product, of this item. Okay. Check the details of this item. And this is where you find the details of this item. Here, at this side. So if you, if you drag this translation button, it says attributes. Okay. Then you click on it. You open. So this is, this is the details of the item that you want to buy. These slippers everything about this slippers. So whatever information you don't find here, you can't find here. Maybe you're looking for a size and the size is not here. Or you're looking for the weight and the weight is not displayed here. Okay? Okay, like here. And you drag this and place it on top of this uh, Chinese word. It said applicable gender. Place it here. It said unisex. Okay? You place this here. Uh, it's saying uh, soul thickness. That's the thickness of the soul. Okay, 1.6, 1.5 cm and 3.5 cm. Okay, so um, okay, I think this is the size. Okay, the size. So these are the different sizes here. Okay, so but now down here now you don't have the weight of the item. And I said before in my previous videos, I usually tell my my students you need to verify the weight of any product you want to buy. It's very important because it is with the weight you're going to calculate the cost of shipping, okay? Now, so um, that is where you find the attribute of the product. And this is where you all, you be able to select the quantity of any product, any item you want to buy, okay? Now, um, I want you to usually look out for, 
when choosing the, the supplier I'm going to buy from is the, their year of operation in this app. I like buying from suppliers with this blue head, this blue head icon. Anybody who has this blue head icon, it means the person has spent above five years in this e-commerce platform. So I always prefer to buy from suppliers with blue head. So if you want to verify uh, the, uh, the length of year this supplier has spent on this app, you just click, click here. Okay, so that we can view this, the profile of the supplier. Okay, uh, we view the profile of the supplier. Okay, so see down here. You see here that the supplier has spent 12 years. So let's drag it here. Let's drag it here. Okay, sorry, it's not translating. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Oops. Uh, okay, it's not trans it's not translating this to class platform. But at the end of the day, this is where you find the amount of year the supplier has spent on this platform. Okay. So this supplier has spent uh, five years. It's five years and it has 4.5 star so far, four stars. So supply is doing well. And another thing is to check the the um the area of concentration for this supplier sometimes you find some suppliers that some manufacturers that will sell slippers they will sell uh, phone they will sell uh, cream uh, cosmetics and the rest of so they don't have one item that they are focused on you understand i like buying from people who are focused on one particular item they will give you better services and provide you with what you need than somebody who you know mixes up everything you understand so you see that this supplier now sells just slippers so whatever thing you need from this particular supplier you might be able to get it you understand so now um let's say you want to be able to chat to this supplier now and get whatever information you want from him okay the best way to do that is to come down here see this particular location i see my my cursor come down here to chat to this supplier come down here okay you click, click this chat button. Once you click this chat button, you're going to launch the chat with the supplier. That's why I told people with 688.com, you don't need a verified WeChat. Because even on that platform, you can chat with your supplier. Any question you want to ask your supplier, ask them there and then, and they will answer you. Okay? So, um, but how can we now chat with our supplier since they don't understand English? And you don't understand Chinese language. So how do you start with your supplier? The best way is to use that our uh, Microsoft Suite key that we downloaded. That Microsoft Suite key is a keyboard that you can use to, you know, chat in any language. Okay? So, but here, okay? Now, uh, you can also do the chatting not just from Microsoft Swift key. You can also do the, you can also chat with, um, uh, what is it called? The Gboard, the the uh, gboard you can get gboard from google play store so whatever keyboard you're using you can come to the menu of the keyboard you go to translate okay then um you said uh translate translate your data we use that yeah continue go to translate okay now now you're going to select once you go to translate and click and enable those settings you are now typing in english here and you want the person who is receiving this to to get it in uh, uh, Chinese language, right? Okay. So we're going to go and select Chinese Simplified. So let's look for it. Let's look for Chinese Simplified here. We are supposed to find it here. We're supposed to find it here. Very, very important. Chinese Simplified. Okay, you see it here. Okay. You click on Chinese Simplified. Now, this is what the keyboard does. Whatever I type here now, in English, it's going to be sending it to the supplier in Chinese language. So let's say hello. Hello. Okay. Now, you click hello. Okay, sorry. Okay. Let's go back again. If you're having a network issue, it's not... Uh, okay. Hello. Okay, fine. 
it has translated it hello so you're going to send hello to the uh, uh, to the supplier okay so now you want to ask the supplier uh, about the unit weight of this product so you can you can just say i want to uh, i want to know uh, the the unit weight um, of these slippers okay of these slippers Okay, sorry for that. Of the slippers. Okay, now you type to translate, that's translated here, then you send. Okay, now you now wait for a supplier to reply you. Once your supplier replies you, you simply drag this translation icon, place it on top of whatever your supplier has replied, and read what they've replied in English language. Okay, so this reply layer is just a, it's just a default reply once you come up the chat whatever you type here is a default reply they're just family you know, family welcome coming straight down all the, they are not at work right now so they just display their phone number in case you want to contact them but you don't need that everything should be done in this chat platform okay so this is the best way to chat with your supplier so by tomorrow this supplier is supposed to ask is supposed to reply my chat and get me whatever information i've asked for okay so now if I'm done searching and I want to buy this item, I'm satisfied with this, I've gotten all the information I want and I want to buy this item from this supplier. So how do I now copy the link of this item and paste it on HR more to purchase my goods? I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to copy the link of any product that you want to purchase, okay, after you've done your due diligence, okay, you go to the HR more app, the 688 app, then uh, at this side, okay, at this topmost side, okay, come here, see it, the right hand corner of the bra of the app, then you click here. So once you click here, okay, you also click this portion to copy. Now I've copied the link. So I go to the HMO app, then uh, automatically the app is now asking me to open the link. Okay, now it has the link has opened in the app okay so this is whatever you find here is what you're going to see in the 688 app anything that is not in the app will not be shown here you understand so this is where you're now going to uh proceed to purchase the goods okay you see it, see the slippers exactly what we search for okay now for you to purchase this good from city88.com, from HMO, or you, what you need to first of all do is now to select the quantity you want based on color and size. Okay, so if you look here, this particular, you drag this uh, translation button. Okay, it says rose bread. Um, this one says uh powder different colors uh different sizes okay make sure you select your size make sure you select the best size that you want to buy okay select the best size that you want to buy so after selecting you now add to your cart okay you now add it to your cart okay let's say i want to buy blue color so what i need to do say blue color is out of stock okay out of black gray black is available so what i need to do i just add one two three four five then i add it to my cart i confirm so immediately i confirm it show it will show added successfully so i now go to my cart this is the my cart portion go to my cart then see the item here in my cart and every other thing you see here are what i've added to my cart so far that i'm that i intend to buy in the future okay whenever i have money so I've added this item to my cart, right? This is the item that I've added to my cart. So if you want to purchase it right now, you click on the item. It will show you the total amount based on the quantity that you selected. Okay? Based on the quantity, five pieces. Then you click on confirm to get the breakdown of the, of the purchasing fee. Okay? So this is breakdown of the purchasing fee. Okay? So the total quantity of the item is five pieces which is uh, 12,720. 
Now, HMO is going to charge you uh, the order purchasing service, okay, which is about 0.06% of this total money, this 12,720. They're going to charge you 763 naira to purchase this item for you. Okay? So this freight fee here is the domestic freight fee. That is the amount the supplier is going to charge okay, to, to, um, to weigh bill your goods to HMO's warehouse in China. Okay, because every supplier have their, their address. So it's just like Nigeria now. Let's say the supplier you want to buy from is something like is in Kano or in Abuja, and HMO's warehouse is here in Lagos or any place, you understand? So they have to weigh bill it from their warehouse to HMO's warehouse. So this is the this is the local flight charge that the company is going to charge you. Okay. So the total amount payable is 14,773 naira, right? To to that's to purchase the goods okay now for new users you you intend to purchase this but you don't have money to you have not funded your wallet to be able to buy it okay now this is how you're going to purchase these goods now for you to be able to buy these goods you need to go and fund your wallet okay so how do you fund your wallet you come to your profile this is a profile because immediately you create you enter um HM more you're going to uh, register and create an account okay so uh, this is my this is a personal profile I'm using to show this to you and I'm going to show you how to create your own profile okay so um, I'm going to be sending a video on how to create your own profile I've sent it already in the training so go back to that video and watch how to uh, register on it in HM more so now for you to fund your account you come to this balance okay come to this balance um, click on this balance okay excuse me so to fund your wallet you simply uh, go to uh, this portion your balance portion okay you click the balance now you click on recharge now you now enter the amount you want to recharge okay let's say you want to recharge um, 10,000 naira okay enter the amount you want to recharge you go to the next step okay now this is the account you're going to fund you're going to fund this particular account we're going to fund this account this is an agent account okay amara chuku undo assets bank we're going to fund this account so when you transfer either you do transfer or you do pos or you do bank deposit after that you upload the details of your payments you click here and upload the invoice of your payments if it's a bank deposit, if it's a POS printout or whatever, I click here and upload details of the payment, okay? Then you enter your payer's name and enter the date. After that, you click on confirm, okay? So immediately you click on confirm, your account or your balance will be credited with that money that you've transferred into that agent account, okay? Now, that's where, after transferring the money, that's where you now go ahead to make, to go back to your, to your cart and uh, make your purchase, okay? You understand you now select the item you want to buy then click on confirm and purchase your goods okay now after purchasing your goods after you paid for your goods okay you're going to come back to your menu and go to this purchased order go to this purchased order okay so if you have paid for your goods your goods is going to appear in this platform now this purchase order menu purchase order menu this uh, purchase order menu here mm -hmm this purchasing list so this item has been paid for it's going to show here now mainly pay for the item is going to show here right now you go to the next menu it's going to show the items that has been purchased because once you paid for it HMO will purchase it for you so once HMO has purchased it for you it's going to show here in this menu all the all the items that have been purchased so for me it's all the items I've purchased okay everything now after hmo has purchased this item your supplier is meant to supply this item to hmo's warehouse okay they're going to package and supply it now for you to know the items that has been supplied to the warehouse you come to this warehouse click on the warehouse okay if you click on the warehouse it will show you all the items that has been supplied or those who or the items that are, that are on the way to the warehouse so this particular one is on the way to the warehouse this is why it has been supplied to the warehouse, okay? Okay? Now, um, after your, your goods have gotten to the warehouse, you're going to come to this transshipment menu 
and see all the goods that are now in the warehouse. So if your goods get to the warehouse, you're going to see it here in the transfixment menu. Okay? At this, this particular menu. Then you will now choose all the goods that you want to be packed. So if, if all your goods arrive, you now choose all of them one by one and ask HMO to pack it for you. Okay? Now, when after HMO has packed it for you, you're going to follow all these steps, which is choose to pack, waiting for packing, to be confirmed, confirmed, and to be shipped. Okay? So I've shipped this item right now. That's why it's showing to be shipped. That's why it's showing shipped. Now, once you choose any item to be packed, after the item has been packed, it is going to be weighed. And when it, when it is being weighed, HMO is going to tell you the total weight of the item and the cost of the item, the cost of shipping. Okay? So this item has been weighed and this is total weight. This is 1.6 kg. Okay? And it cost around 9,675 naira to be sent to Nigeria. Okay, so this is what you're going to pay when this item gets to Nigeria, aside from the cost of the goods that you've already paid before. Okay? And Etamo is not going to collect any advance fee to ship these goods to you. It is only when the goods get to Nigeria that you're going to pay for the shipping fee. Okay? And you're going to get this tracking number. This number here is your tracking number. This is the number you're going to use to track these goods through the HMO cargo website. You're going to track these goods on transit until it gets to Nigeria. Maybe your goods get to Nigeria, you're going to be alerted through WhatsApp to come and pick up your goods in, in either in Kano uh, warehouse or in Lagos warehouse. Okay? Now, that is it for purchasing your goods. There's another thing I always, uh, I also want uh, you guys to learn, which is how to calculate your freight charge. It's very important. How to calculate your freight charge. And I'm going, to, I'm going to be posting a video about that uh, in our Telegram page. So after watching this, you go back and watch the video on how to calculate your, the freight charge, as the cargo charge, both through air or through sea. How to calculate it so that you can do your plus and minus before, before ever purchasing your goods. Because I always like, before I buy my goods, whatever I want to buy, I do all the, um, the cost analysis, both the, 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 the purchasing, uh, the cost of the goods, the total cost of the goods, the purchasing uh, fee of the goods, everything, I'll add it to the cost of shipping, then um, I, I plus it together and divide it by how many pieces of goods I want to buy, then I don't know how much the landing price of each goods is go each item is going to be. I'll load the landing price. Then with that, I'm not going to go into our market, our local market here to verify this item I want to buy. How much is it sold in our local market? Then I will now know if the price I want to buy it, whether it will be profitable or not. You get so that you don't just go and buy item when it gets to Nigeria, you'll not be able to sell it. Okay. It's very important to do your due diligence. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry to just buy anything. Take your time to do your research. After knowing how much you're going to pay from HMO app, you've already known how much you're going to pay. Fine and good. Uh, you're buying five pieces and you're, you're going to pay 12,000 something, both the service charge and everything. Good. Then you now know the weight of the item. After chatting your supplier, if the weight is not displayed in the um, uh, product details, you charge your supplier to know the weight of the item you get. Now, if your supplier tells you the weight of the item, then you now use it to times it by how many pieces you want to buy. You now know the total weight. Then with that, you're now going to copy the weight and place it on that fight calculator, which I'm going to send to you. It's just an Excel spreadsheet with some formulas where you just enter the total weight of the product and it's going to calculate the, um, the freight fee for you. Whether through air or through the sea. Then you now use that to divide the by many pieces of goods you want to buy and know the landing price of your goods. So if a product is supposed to be sold in Nigeria in a local market for 5,000 Naira, and after, your, after doing your calculation, the landing price is at 5,005. You see that that product is not, will not be profitable for you. In fact, you're already running at a loss. You get, so you have to abandon it and go and search for another supplier that will give you a very good price, okay? And another way to filter your, um, there's another way to filter your prices in a 688 app, okay? I'm also going to show you, I'm also going to be uploading the video on how to filter price on 688 app so that uh, you will not be bombarded with 
uh, uh, list of um, so many items with different price. So let's say after doing your calculation, you've seen that the item that the product you buy should cost should not be more than um, a particular amount. Okay, let's say after after uh, um, doing your calculation, you've seen that the product you want to buy should not be more than uh, 10 yen, okay? Or should not be more than 15 yen, okay? 15 Chinese yen. So the, the only thing you have to do is, once you're searching for this product, you come to this filter, come to this portion, okay? Let me show you guys, come to this portion to filter your search by price so that uh, it app will only show you slippers that is sold that uh, the price is uh, within the range of 10 to 15 years. So once you click this portion, you come down here, okay? This is the price area. Okay, let's translate this and see what it says. Let's translate this. Low price, what does this one say? Okay, low price. What is this one saying? Saying high price. So what you're going to do is say you want this, you want a term, you want 16 app to display uh, footwear that cost between 10 to 15 years. So you put low price, 10 yen. Okay, then uh, high price, high price. Uh, uh, let's say 25. So you launch now. It's going to try to display all the C plus slippers within the range of 10 to 25. So it started with 6, 17, 7, 25, 13. So now with this, you're not going to go through, search through, and find the ones that is within your budget and buy it. Okay? So that is this is the best way to filter your search uh, using price. Okay? So um, that is it for now. So I hope um, I've been able to uh, been able to uh, show you some of uh, the secrets that we all need to know while sourcing for our goods, especially from 688. How to copy your link uh, and paste on the HMO app and go ahead to purchase your goods. Okay, all these things are very easy. A lot of people have been buying their goods. Remember, we are in September. Very soon, we're going to enter October, November, December. Okay, this is the best time for you to buy whatever you want to sell during this festive season. Buy it, keep it in your store, so that when it gets into the festive season, you can now start selling them to make profit. Okay? This is the best time to buy your goods. Don't wait. If you keep your money in the bank, you know, the bank will be chopping small, 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 small. But use your money to buy goods and keep in stock. Most of the goods you buy, they are not perishable something that you can keep and actually sell in the future so if there's any question you want to ask me kindly do that in our whatsapp uh, group then come back to our telegram group to watch our videos okay our trainings are free we don't charge anybody for any money all we want you to do is just use our services hmo services to procure your goods okay you can also use the invitation link to invite your friends and there's another big good news which is um, this September, any goods or any, any goods you buy, any procurement you make, before it is before it will be sent to Nigeria, HMO is going to add a t-shirt for you. So once you buy the goods, you tell them you chat me up that you've purchased your goods and I'm going to tell, I'm going to send your uh, ID to HMO so that they're going to include the, the size of your t-shirt in your goods, okay? This is just a gift, free gift you are giving to our customers. And it's starting this September till December. So whatever you buy between this September to December, you're going to get a free gift from HMO. And another good news is that once you refer uh, any customer to use HMO's uh, services, HMO's app, all you need to do is to, uh, once the uh, customer uh, logs in and registers to become a member, you chat me up and tell me the ID of the customer. Okay, and I'm going to chat up our management to get you your own coupon. You're going to get a 3,000 naira worth of coupon to be credited into your HMO uh, wallet. Okay, so I can use it to purchase whatever you want to purchase in the future. Okay, so I hope I hope I've been able to make sense so far. I hope you've learned something. 
if there's any question you want to ask, like I said, drop it in our uh, WhatsApp group and I'll answer them. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, you guys should have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thanks.